Now to that moving nightmare. The victims celebrating what they call justice. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live in the control room with more on how a suburban mover wound up behind bars in Georgia. Lauren? Well, Joe and Erica, police put out a warrant for this suburban man's arrest more than a year ago. He was finally booked last week where he spent two nights in jail. Victims are hoping he'll spend a lot more time locked up. Video posted to Rafael Ohanesian's Instagram page shows a time when bulls moving was, well, moving. State records show the Gurney-based company started in summer 2019. Packing up might be what bulls moving itself is up to three years after inception. No one appeared to be at their offices when CBS2 stopped by. The number was not in service. And we've learned Ohanesian, seen here in his social media video, was recently arrested. I. I I just felt this sense of peace. Lindsay Williams reported the Chicago area business owner to police in DeKalb County, Georgia last summer. He has to answer for what he did to our family. She says bulls moving stuffed her things in a storage facility instead of relocating them from Georgia to Colorado per their contract. The owner of bulls attempted to get us to pay an additional several thousand dollars in cash to release our belongings. And the detective said, absolutely not. How can I face the criminal charges? Oh, Hanasian spoke with us in 2021. Who, me yeah. personally? Yes. He seemed floored when reporter Tim McNicholas told him about a warrant for his arrest. That's what I'm telling you guys, it's impossible. But here's Ohanasian's mugshot from last week. He's charged with felony theft in Williams' case. The DeKalb County Sheriff's Office tells us he surrendered 14 months after the warrant was issued. And I just felt in my body, I felt this huge release. So why turn himself in? Is this bulls moving? Silence after someone answered another phone number listed on the bulls moving website. The person eventually claimed he's not affiliated with the company. Our Instagram message to Ohanasian went unanswered. And his account where we found that bulls moving video mysteriously went blank. CBS2 may not have been able to speak with Ohanasian today, but Williams did. The mom of two testified at his bond hearing last week and was able to tell him over Zoom that because of his actions, she has trouble trusting people. We know she's not the only victim. We also know it's likely this won't be the last story we're doing on Bulls Moving. In the control room, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Thank you, Lauren.